What's up, you guys? How you guys been doing? Happy New Year's. Today, we're in January now. 2022. Last year went so quick. So, what I was thinking, I was thinking about how I haven't answered a lot of you guys' questions lately. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start answering you guys' questions. So whoever has questions for me, go ahead and put them in the comments section and uh, I'll answer you guys' questions, all right? I'll start with a couple right now. Some of you guys asked me, do I still work on cars? And why haven't I done mechanic videos? Yeah, I still work on cars. But that's not my main priority anymore. My main priority is to... Is to minister. In order for me to minister, I can't do as many car videos as I want because this stuff takes time, man. It takes a lot of time and filming this, this kind of stuff. And so the closer I get to God, the more time I want to minister because that's what God's putting on my heart. He's pressing on my heart to minister more because there's so many lost. There's too many lost people, man. There's so many people in this world suffering is heartbreaking. It breaks my heart, man, to see so many people in bondage. So, the answer to that question is, do I work on cars still? Yes. And why haven't I been doing car videos? It's because I'm focusing on the ministry. As some of you know, I'm a carpenter and I'm also a mechanic. But I took time off to spend time in learning and going deep with this real estate investing. And finally got to figure it out. Yeah. Pretty soon I'm gonna stop working on cars. It's gonna be all pure business and pure ministry. The business is gonna fund the ministry. All right? And I'll, I'll let you guys know that in more detail later. And somebody asked me a question the other day. They asked me, how do I learn the Bible? How do I get so detailed on the Bible? The answer to that is study, man. But more than that, it's, it's I have a strong desire to want to be close to God. I have a strong desire to need God. Because before I didn't know God, I didn't need God. I didn't need God. Therefore, I lived godless. And my deeds were wicked. In order for you to understand the Bible, you have to, you have to go deep, extremely deep. You have to have a strong ambition. You have to have a strong desire strong ambition to want to draw closer to God and then God will begin to show you things in the Bible and, to, and start to reveal things to you you have to want to know God you can't have a half-hearted approach if you want to draw closer to God but it requires a tremendous amount of discipline it requires sacrifice. You have to be willing to spend a lot of time in prayer with God. You have to be willing to read the word of God. In times when you don't want to. But it's not like you're forced to do it. And you can't feel forced to want to serve God. Because if you feel forced... It ain't gonna work. Nope, it ain't gonna work at all. It's kinda like when you first 
met your spouse you guys went on a date you had a strong desire and a passion to get to know her or to know him better right so you went out of your way you lost sleep you did what you had to do in order to get closer to the one that you truly love right that's the same thing for God, but for God, you step it up a notch. Your desire and your love for God must be tremendously strong. Nobody can do that for you, though. That has to come from deep in the soul. You have to pursue the Lord with all your strength, with all your might, with everything within you anything worth fighting for takes a lot of sacrifice you think God is worth fighting for he's beyond worth fighting for beyond words if you're not willing to fight then you won't be able to stand yeah, and the sad thing about what's going on today is that most people are not dedicated to God the way they claim they are. A lot of people are lukewarm and there is a lot of false conversion out there. Why is that? Because lack of knowledge. Why is there a lack of knowledge? Because there's a lack of reading the word of God. There's a lack of talking to God, praying to God. And if you lack that, then you won't receive the wisdom and understanding and revelation from God. Pursue the Lord with all your might, with all your heart, and get serious about it. See, at the same time, you can study the word of God and not even know the author of the book. There's a verse that says, you have not because you ask amiss, which means you're missing the point. You're not getting it. You're not really following the Lord like you, you say you are. If you have a half-hearted approach towards God, you're gonna get half-hearted results. If you get half-hearted results, guess what? You're gonna be walking in error, man. I'm telling you straight up. You will be walking in error. If you don't get this right, see, God desires to have relationship with you. Yeah, you. That's what he wants. He wants you to come before him and to call on him. He wants you to need him. You can't play with the gospel, man. You can't play with the word of God. Not to be played with, man. You gotta take it serious. That's another thing about drawing closer to God. You gotta be willing to, you got to be willing to listen to the word of God from sound preachers. So you have to seek out ministers who are sound. And you got to be careful because there's a lot of deception out there. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. Read this verse. So he can guide you in spirit and in truth. So he can guide you in truth. As you draw closer to Christ, your battle, a lot of times, is going to be solo. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to be on the same page with you when it comes to Christ. Like a lot of people ain't even going to care about your walk with Christ. 
not. A lot of people could care less about your salvation. But that's all right though, man. Continue to walk strong in the Lord. You never stop. You never stop fighting. That's why I tell you, never back down, never give up. But you gotta envision yourself being in Christ also. You gotta have a vision too, for God. See yourself being closer to God. If there's no vision, people perish. If you don't have it planned out, how are you going to continuously draw closer to God? You're going to drift. I'm telling you. You're going to drift. You're not going to be able to sustain your, your faith, man. Because your faith rides on your ability to draw closer to God. The Bible says, according to your faith, so be it unto you. Another thing, if you only do the minimum required, then expect minimal results. If that's all you can put out is a couple prayers a week, barely talking to the Lord, then expect the least results possible. Prayer is to be done daily. Yes, daily. The level of your faith will determine the level you'll be on with God. Remember that. The level of your faith will dictate and will determine the level you're going to be on with God. This year, 2022, boost up your faith. Boost up your confidence in God. Don't let nothing come between you and God. You need the confidence in life, period. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you need pure confidence in God. God is not satisfied with doubt. God is not pleased with worry. God does not like anxiety. God don't want you walking around in fear. When he created you, he didn't create you to be Fearful. It's like this. If you sit still, if you sit idle, if you don't make any attempt to draw closer to God, you do nothing about increasing your faith, you get nothing. Straight up. I'll talk about this year, you being stronger than you ever been. 2022. Show leadership, show strength, show drive, show a strong passion for Christ, to live in Christ. Don't buckle, don't give up. Stay smashing on everything you do, all right? Don't get weak. What is leadership? So you as a leader, what do leaders do? Leaders strengthen people. Leaders provide hope when there seems like there's no hope. Leaders provide vision. Leaders help other people stay encouraged. So I want to encourage you guys. Stay strong in the Lord, not get weak. Your job as a soldier for Christ is to strengthen, to edify, to lift up, keep others encouraged. Don't bow down, don't break, all right? When you set a goal to get closer to God, be ready for trials, all right? Because it ain't going to come easy. You're going to go through some testing to see how much you got. To see how much your faith is in God, in Christ. You're going to go through some serious testing to see if your faith is valid. And when you go through that, so be it. Bring it. Let it come, man. Welcome it. Embrace it. But I want to encourage you to stay in battle. All right? Stay in battle and do not buckle. Do not give up. Most of all, seek the Lord with all your heart, with all your might, with everything in you. 
stay close to Christ by staying in the Word of God. Study the Word of God. Study it when you don't want to study it. How do you stay in the Word of God? You got to read God's Word when you don't want to read God's Word. That's how you stay in Christ. How do you stay inspired? How do you stay encouraged? In Christ, you got to continuously pray. Pray without ceasing. That means praying when you don't want to pray. I know it's hard, but remember, it's not impossible. Some of us have been through some serious storms. And I know a lot of your lives have been rough. But I'm here to tell you that Christ carried a load, man. Let him carry the heavy weight that is on you. Come to me, all ye that labor, that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take that to heart. I'm here to tell you, the battle's not done, man. It ain't ever going to be done until Christ comes. That's why you got to learn how to endure. You got to fight regardless. But you got to fight without giving up. You can't just break down because you get hit. All the storms are going to come regardless. You're not stopping the storms. Recognize that. Look, I'm getting too close. You're not stopping the storms. But he'll see you through. God Almighty will see you through. Trust him. What is faith, man? And keep your faith in him. What is faith? Faith is trusting in God regardless. Whether, no matter how grim something looks, no matter how chaotic things are, no matter how defeated you might feel, faith is trusting in him regardless, no matter what. 100% confidence in God. Trust him without giving up. Trust him without buckling. Trust him without doubting him. Trust him no matter what. All right, brothers and sisters, those trials you've been through, they made you stronger, huh? Yeah, they did. And what those trials did is they got you stronger for the next storms that you have to endure through. Recognize that. The storms, you need them. You need the pain sometimes. That's what keeps you going. That's what keeps you hungry for God. Because without all that pain, without all the stress and the struggle, you might take this walk with God lightly. And that's how a lot of people fall, man. That's how a lot of us fall. That's how we backslide. Because we don't take God serious. And it makes us think that, oh, it's not a big deal. I could smoke some weed. I could smoke some cigarettes. I could still drink and get away with it. You ain't taking it serious. Let that pain give you experience this year. Let all that pain from the past give you experience. Use that experience. Be grateful God got you through that. Yeah, let me say that again. Be grateful God got you through all those storms in the past. And that's why you're still here. Because God has a bigger plan for you. God wants you to do things. God wants you to help inspire, to encourage, to lift people up, to edify other people through the word of God, through him. And to all of you who've been beat down in life, it ain't over, man. You ain't done fighting. You are not done fighting yet. 2022, guess what? It's time for you to make a new chapter in your life. Yeah, you dictate how you want your life to go. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. However you think, that's what you become. You think soft, you'll be soft. You think you can endure through the storms, you will. You think you can't, you won't. So I'm here to encourage you today. Today is a new day. Today, you write your new chapter in life. Today, you decide how you're gonna write your new chapter. You decide how the chapter ends. It's all on you. God gave you that ability. He gave you that choice. Ecclesiastes. For every season, there is a specific time that things are supposed to happen. I'm telling you right now, for those of you who've been beat down in life, 
this is a whole new chapter for you in 2022. Get your mindset right in Christ. And don't be conformed to the world, man. Don't let the world dictate how your life goes. Let the world dictate your relationship with Jesus Christ. Only you can determine how you want your relationship to be with Jesus Christ. I strongly urge you to repent today and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. No softness in 2022, no weakness. Let the Lord guide you. Ask, ask the Lord for counsel. Ask him for clarity on what you need to be doing for him. Ask him for counsel on how to deal with whatever you're going through. Like I always say, go to war. Stay in war mode constantly. Stay in battle mode. You better have vision this year. Why? The Bible says, where there is no vision, the people perish. What kind of vision am I talking about? I'm talking about you better envision yourself getting closer to God this year. You better envision yourself breaking out of that addiction this year. The alcohol. The alcohol. The weed, the pills, the pornography, you better envision yourself overcoming that stuff through Jesus Christ, through the power of Jesus Christ. That's the kind of vision you need in Jesus' mighty, holy, precious name. Amen, amen, amen. Keep smashing in 2022. Go get it.